teachers. It's been a tradition that our school is a part of Erasmus Plus project, in this case, MMS specifically. Today I'm going to interview a few of the project participants from Vienna, Palermo and Nice. Can you please introduce yourself? What institution do you represent? Yes, uh, my name is Benedetto Di Paola. I came from Palermo, Sicily, Italy. I'm a professor at the University of Palermo, Department of Mathematics and Informatics, and I teach mathematics and didactical mathematics. Um, my specialization is uh, in a comparison between process, mathematical process, and uh, something related to the way to solve problems in different cultures. And I work with, uh, particularly work with uh, Italian students and Chinese. That's all. <laughs> okay, um, as for teaching math, yeah. can you uh, present your school curriculum and math point of view? Yeah, um, in general about the curriculum in Italy, we have uh, this sort of division in uh, primary school uh, or pre-primary school for three years and they don't study mathematics of course and they start at three years old and they finish at uh, five, six years old. After that, uh, we have primary school and uh, we have five years at primary school and there they study math, uh, starting from numbers, uh, arithmetics, to geometry, solid geometry, and all the aspects related to this kind of subject, probabilistic uh, problem solving or statistics, something like this. Of course, elementary mathematics. After that, uh, we have uh, five years, sorry, three years of lower secondary school and five years of our, uh, upper secondary school. Mm -hmm. And also there they have, uh, at the lower secondary school, they have, I think, 18 hours of, of math per week and the same hours for the upper secondary school. And they study, of course, uh, all the subject of mathematics, the same subject as they study at primary, but of course with the higher level. That's all. At the university, it depends on what the student uh, decides to study. Uh, of course, in mathematics, they have a lot of subjects in mathematics, but also in other discipline, uh, they study some elementary mathematics. And uh, because we know that mathematics is uh, common for uh, many other subjects and so we define for each one of these course not all of course for all general courses at university but for almost all some subject uh, related to mathematics when you hear Erasmus what comes into your mind oh a lot of things uh, I made I had a lot of Erasmus plus project in, in Palermo but I think the, the best is uh, to share idea with uh, colleagues, uh, to define a collaboration between university, but colleagues uh, or also students, and to define something that should be useful for teach uh, mathematics and for learn mathematics uh, uh, looking to students, and uh, try to uh, share some practice or some materials between partners. Another interesting point related to Erasmus Plus is to, um, um, I don't know to say, to check uh, the differences as the analogies between partners. And so to rethink to, um, the, the, the own uh, system and the difficulties that we have uh, with our students, for example, according to what the other, sub the other uh, partners say or discuss about their students. So it's a very great opportunity for the university, but also for the school uh, to, to share something uh, and to discuss each other about something related to mathematics, but also uh, to other subjects. Can you present IMI Maths, uh, yeah. what it brought to you? Okay, IMI Maths is a, a project um, dedicated to immigrant students. And 
they have a lot of difficulties to, to, to learn mathematics at school, in Palermo but also in Italy we have a lot of immigrant students and they have uh, a lot of difficulty to learn mathematics, to, to stay in class with the teacher and to study mathematics uh, uh, with the other uh, students in class. This project uh, um, has the aim to define uh, software games uh, that should be useful for them to motivate, to be motivated and to uh, learn mathematics in a different way. We are trying to define these games in different languages according to the partner, language of the partner and uh, of course focusing uh, on uh, a different subject about mathematics, so arithmetics, and geometry and so on and thinking to the difficulty of the students. We try to uh, implement this game with the help of a, a company, software company, and we just uh, work with uh, our students uh, to test uh, them and to try to redefine. Here we are working uh, on it uh, and to uh, prepare the final version of the software for the students. After that, we will uh, work with uh, students um, to, uh, to test again the, the software with, with them and to uh, define other software uh, linked to the uh, this particular subject that we define as, for example, in, about the Italian team, we, we work with um, geometry, 3D geometry, and they are more strong for the mathematical part of you and uh, uh, we hope that uh, this kind of approach can help students, immigrant students, but also uh, weak students uh, to, to learn more mathematics in a different way. This is a ma the major uh, aim of the project. Okay, that's all, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> can you please introduce your, yourself and what institution do you represent? Mm -hmm. Uh, volám sa Sonia Čeretková a pracujem na Univerzite Konštantína Filozofa v Nitre na Fakulte prírodných vied na katedre matematiky. As for teaching math, can you present your school curriculum mm -hmm. and, um, from the perspective of math? Na katedre matematiky pripravujeme budúcich učiteľov matematiky. Moji študenti sú učiteľia prvého stupňa. Uh, hovoríme im učiteľstvo primárneho vzdelávania. Učím predmet metódy riešenia matematických úloh a takisto sú mojimi študentami aj študenti učiteľstva akademických predmetov a prodáci s matematikou. Takže napríklad matematika, fyzika, matematika, chémia, klasické aprobácie, alebo aj matematika, anglický jazyk, matematika, telesná výchova, matematika, hudba a podobne. Takže kurikulum v podstate učebné plány sú, ktoré ja musím vo svojom vyučovaní sledovať, sú dva. Jeden je učebný plán pre vzdelávanie učiteľov prvého stupňa a druhý sú predmety, ktoré sú potrebné pre, aby poznali učiteľia, ktorí budú učiť na základných školách, na druhom stupni a na stredných školách. Takže kurikulum je veľmi široké. Musia toho veľa vedieť z matematiky aj z didaktiky matematiky. When you hear Erasmus, what comes into your mind? Erasmus Rotterdamský, že to bol vedec, alebo teda polilý po histor kedysi. Um, podľa neho sú pomenované uh, grantové schémy Európskej únie. A teda náš Erasmus Plus projekt, alebo naša grantová schéma je schéma projektov Erasmus Plus kde sa zlúčili bývalé projekty Comenius a takisto aj teda projekty Erasmus a Erasmus Mobility. Takže Erasmus v tomto ponímaní na univerzite nie je iba Erasmus projekt, ktorý máte so zahraničnými partnermi, ale je to aj možnosť mobility, čiže napríklad strávenia pol roka alebo celého školského roka na univerzite v zahraničí, kde študent môže získať skúsenosti a samozrejme vedomosti zo svojho študijného programu, odboru v cudzom jazyku a teda na zahraničnej univerzite, s ktorou väčšinou univerzita domáca má dobrú odbornú spoluprácu. Ale nevylučujú sa aj prípady, že študent si môže nájsť sám univerzitu, ktorá ho je ochotná prijať 
a Erasmus grantová schéma mu grantuje alebo garantuje istú časť pobytu. Čiže môže si za štipendium, ktoré v rámci Erasmu dostane, uhradiť ubytovanie alebo dopravu na miesto a samozrejme aj náklady na pobyt. Um, can you present the IMMAT project? Uh, what it brought to you? Uh-huh. Uh, IMMAT projekt je špeciálny projekt, ktorý sme vymysleli v spolupráci s tromi univerzitami, teda Univerzita Konštantína Filozofa v Nitre, Univerzita v Palerme a Univerzita vo Viedni. Iniciátorom bola Univerzita vo Viedni a Náš kolega Andrea Zulovec, s ktorým pracujeme alebo spolupracujeme na medzinárodných projektoch, pôvodne to boli aj projekty Comenius ešte už veľa rokov. Takže projekt reaguje na potrebu vyučovania matematiky trošku iným ako štandardným a konzervatívnym spôsobom. Takže v projekte máme za cieľ vyvinúť matematické hry, Um, pretože jedným z partnerov projektu je aj profesionálna softverová spoločnosť v Katáni, v Taliansku, na Sicílii, ktorá sa zaoberá tvorbou počítačových hier. Takže počítačové hry, ktoré budú mať obsah matematický a ktoré budú uľahčovať vyučovanie matematiky najmä žiakom zo, nevýhodne, zo znevýhodneného prostredia, pretože obe krajiny, aj Rakúsko, aj Taliansko, a z časti aj Slovensko, niektoré regióny, respektíve niektoré školy majú žiakov alebo musia učiť žiakov, ktorí sú deti imigrantov, ktorí nevedia dobre jazyk krajiny, v ktorej v súčasnosti bývajú. A teda tento projekt mal reagovať aj na tieto potreby. Preto sa to volá imimat, ako imigrant je žiak alebo dieťa z takej rodiny, ktorá prišla do Európy a potrebuje sa učiť podľa našich osnov a podľa našich obsahov vzdelávania. Takže tými hrami, ktoré sme vymysleli pre niektoré vybrané matematické celky, by sme to vyučovanie matematiky a učenie sa matematiky chceli uľahčiť. Aha. Uh, my name is Andreas Ulovec. I'm from the University of Vienna and I work in the mathematics teacher education there for about 20 years now. Uh, as for teaching math, can mm-hmm. you uh, present your school curriculum from the point of math? Okay, um, math is, uh, regardless in which school you are, uh, is compulsory from the very first grade to the very last grade, so you have no choice, so to speak. Uh, there are different forms of schools, uh, particularly in secondary. Mm-hmm. Uh, in secondary grades um, and it depends on which form you choose of how many uh, lessons you have per week. Uh, an average uh, you have uh, between three and five lessons per week, uh, depending on which form of school uh, you attend. Uh, so that's the amount uh, of, of lessons uh, that you do. Uh, the curriculum is, is basically built uh, up on four major topics, uh, which is basically what, what in mathematics you would call uh, algebra, so everything is connected with equations and solving equations. Uh, the second uh, would, uh, what, what in English would be analysis or calculus, where you do uh, differentiation and integration using the upper grades. Uh, the third is all that's connected with geometry, and the fourth block is everything is connected with probability. Uh, And in each year, uh, not in elementary school, but starting from primary uh, or lower secondary up to upper secondary, in each year you cover all four topics on, uh, in different levels. Uh, so it's not that you have uh, one year only geometry, but you have an, or every year you have uh, all of these four major topics uh, and some subheadings of these topics are covered in every year. Uh, basically, the curriculum is uh, what is now called uh, competence-oriented. Uh, so it is formulated in a way uh, that says after grade whatever, grade five, uh, the student should be able to do this or that, should be able to add fractions, as an example, or should be able to solve linear equations. Uh, so the whole curriculum is formulated in a way uh, that does not say what you have to teach, but it says what the student should be able to do at the end of the school. So that's the way, that's the, way the curriculum uh, is built. Um, in 
the, in Austria, the, the minimum number of years that you have to go to school is nine years. Uh, so you have, to, you have to go to all elementary school, you have to go to lower secondary school and then you have to do one more year in some school that, that uh, you want. Uh, if you want to go on, this, the system is similar as here, uh, you have to go to upper secondary school and do uh, what you call a maturita. When you hear Erasmus, what mm -hmm. comes into your mind? Uh, European collaboration is, is the first thing. Uh, and it, it has several levels. Uh, Erasmus is now a very big program, as, as you probably know. Uh, and uh, so for me it's, it's important that the, the working together uh, from different countries, uh, but also on the, on the student level in school and on the student level at university uh, to exchange and to have uh, students and teachers mobility. So those are the things that, that come to mind when I hear Erasmus. Can you present IMIMATS and what it mm -hmm. brought to you? Okay. Um, IMIMATS, uh, we, we had the idea a couple of years ago uh, when uh, we, as a team, uh, we, we had produced many teaching materials in the last 15 years. Uh, and still, uh, none of these materials were ever designed for students coming newly into the country, uh, what, which we call the immigrant or migrant students. Uh, so all the materials in Austria were basically for students who were born and living in Austria, which was nice for them, but not very nice for students who come in. Uh, and uh, we asked a lot of teachers before this seminar started um, how they deal with it. What if they have, go into a classroom and half of the people who sit in there are immigrant students. It's not unusual. Um, and uh, they said, well, we do different things, but uh, it would be nice to have some support. Uh, and our idea was to give them some support. So, uh, we started thinking about what, what, how we can help the teachers uh, with immigrant students. Um, and our idea was uh, to design some learning software that allows these students uh, to get access to mathematics uh, without a lot of language knowledge. Uh, because usually when they come in they are not perfectly speaking German, Slovak or whatever, uh, but they speak their own, their own language. Uh, so we wanted to come up with software that allows them to learn mathematics even though they are not fully able to understand the language. Um, and that's the, the basic concept of this, uh, of this project. It's a two-year project um, with altogether seven partners from three countries. Uh, we are from Austria, obviously from Slovakia and from Italy. And in each country we have one university and one school. Uh, and from Italy we have a software company who actually does the programming work. Uh, so that's, that's the overall uh, scale. We work for a year and a half now and we have another year, half year to go. Um, and the idea for the software production was first to find out what do the teachers need. So first we went to schools and uh, also to universities and asked them, well, what, uh, what would you like to have? Which mathematical topics are particularly difficult for migrant students? Uh, and do you have any hints for us what, what would be helpful for them? So we collected that uh, and then we uh, said, okay, each team will now design uh, two software pieces uh, and one of those would be just to motivate the kids. So there's mathematics in it, of course, but the main thing is uh, that they are able to, to go onto the computer and play and, and see some mathematical things and do a little mathematics, but mainly it's, it's just to not to scare them away from mathematics. So just to motivate them, hey math is fun and we, we want to continue that. Uh, and uh, so this software is almost finished. Uh, we are just now here uh, in, uh, in Levice testing it. Uh, and, uh, but basically that, is, that part is finished. The second uh, part is software that allows the students to practice. Uh, and this is mainly where they get uh, tasks uh, that they have to solve, uh, still in a, in a way that's uh, game oriented, but it's not so much for just for playing, but it's really for practicing mathematics. Uh, they are, the content is designed, is finished, and the software company is just now programming them uh, so that they are there. Uh, the, soft, the finish, uh, the final goal will be to 
have all these 12 uh, software products available in all the partner languages, so that, that is in German, in Slovak and in Italian, uh, and in English because it is designed in English. Uh, in addition, we will also be hopefully able to make translations in uh, Turkish and in uh, Bosnian Croatian Serbian, because these are the two major groups of immigrants in Austria, as about 150,000 students with these two languages. So that's why we want to translate them into these two languages. Yeah, that's an overview of the of the project. Okay, thank you. Thank you very that's much. All. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>